All right, so we are in an area I call the swamp plot. I call it that because it's just too darn wet to get a tractor back here, and or any type of equipment. The only thing that can really make it back here is a four-wheeler. Um, so we had to spread the line by hand, obviously, because we couldn't get a tractor back here. And we put 250 pounds on here. It's about 40 yards by 20 yards. And this is going to be a real nice clover food plot for this year and years to come. Uh, we're going to be planting our... Uh, it's Clover Rage by, I don't know what uh, company, but they have multiple, uh, two different types of red clovers, two different types of white clovers. It's even got some chicory in there. And then in future years, I'm probably going to have to come in here and um, spray out the weed just to um, eliminate the competition and keep the clover alive. So, All right, so this area, like I said, is too wet. So all I did was spray it and rip it up with the four-wheeler. That's all I did, and you can see it looks great. We spread the lime on. So now I'm going to rip it up a little more just to work in the lime a little bit and then we're going to seed it. So this clover rage is what we're putting in here. Like I already said, it's got a blend of red and white clovers and a little bit of chicory. I made it back to the place I call the swamp plot. It's one of my favorite spots on the farm. Um, I planted this about two weeks ago. The clover is just coming up. I know the clover can take a little bit to get established, so I can already see some weeds getting in here, which is not good. There's the clover. There's some more. There's some smaller ones. Right here, it's getting pretty big already. Some of that is weeds like this. This, is, I think, is water hemp. Get him out of there. There's another one of them. But you can see right there some clover. And there's another one, there's another one. Let's get in here, it's looking good. <clears throat> yeah, there's some more. They're really starting to grow. And uh, I will post some of our videos that this trail camera's been getting. Got a few bucks in here already. You can see, it's really looking good. I'll show you another update in about a week. This is where they're all coming in from. You got a trail coming right into here. Got a little bit of water for them. So yeah, it's a nice little 40 by 20 kill plot. That's gonna be clover this fall. And then there's just deer tracks kinda 
scattered everywhere throughout here. A little bit here and there, a little bit there. But yeah, it'll, it will definitely get better if the deer really start using it when there's actually something green in here for them to eat. But they're already in here and there's really nothing for them to eat, so. All right, so I made it back out to the swamp plot again. Um, I'm not sure how long this is after. Probably, well, I'll have it up on the screen. But uh, it's coming on, coming in good, but the weeds are starting to come in good too, so that's unfortunate. You can see all the clover all around me here. It's coming in good, but so is all these other weeds. Ragweed, um, some water hemp stuff. But the deer, man, they are just, they are browsing the, um, the water hemp and stuff more than they're actually browsing the clover which is surprising well they could be eating on the clover too it's just harder to tell like look at that there's a big one nipped off another one you can see all those in there all clipped right off look at this all of them so yeah that's I guess they're weeds but they're feeding the deer too, so I mean, look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty good size. That's like the size of a pencil. But you got all this water hemp in here. It's all getting browsed on. Hey, look at that. That one's just completely annihilated. Every single top on that is nipped. Look at that. So they're actually eating on that way more than I see clover uh, browse. Like, look at that. I just can't get over how crazily browsed the weeds are in here versus the clover when I'm actually trying to grow for them. But clover is pretty much everywhere throughout the plot. Just the weeds are starting to get a little taller. Next year I think I'm going to come in here and uh, I will uh, probably lightly, because um, clover is very resistant to uh, Roundup and glyphosate, so I will come in here and mix it a little light and believe me, everything will be gone except the clover then. So it will look even better than what it does already um, next year and probably have to it wouldn't be a bad thing to seed in a little extra clover with that as well so yeah it's looking good could look better but these weeds are good weeds obviously so there's no reason to get rid of them this year so I'll keep them if you look closely you can kind of tell the differences between the clover you can tell that one's got like that white ring on it and this one really doesn't and there's even some smaller ones in here those ones might be the white clovers but the mix I put in here had two types of red clovers and two types of white clovers. So, I mean, there's a variety in here, but it's clover's clover. It's kind of hard to tell the difference. So that's going to wrap up this one. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't so far, and also leave a thumbs up on the video. And comments are always welcome. Um, but yeah, I just I cannot believe how much these deer are really hammering this these weeds. I think it's that water hemp or whatever the heck it is. They're... They're hammering that way more than my clover, which I can't believe. But I guess it's taking some brows off the clover for the first year, which really wouldn't matter anyway. But guys, that's going to wrap up this one. So I uh, really hope you enjoyed it, like I already said. And yada, yada, yada. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm.